Welcome back, everybody. We are back together here with another video. Happy Friday, everybody. The weekend is upon us. But Internet Weekend, if your name is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, boy, I kind of I kind of find it hard to imagine that they could actually be even more unlikable, you know? Yeah. But they they definitely seem to be shooting themselves in the foot. Their likability seems to be dropping and dropping and dropping. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is what the third video we made on them on South Park, because I'm pretty sure that the South Park ratings probably went up. But when it comes to Harry and Meghan, their approval rating is dropping. Yes. Now, they were already unpopular. I'm not a fan of them at all, Me mainly either. because of Meghan Markle. You know, victimhood. All I do is preach. Uh, actually, it's mainly uh, Meghan because uh, Prince Harry, he, do he doesn't have any balls, you know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any balls. But their likability rating has taken a hit since the South Park episode. And South Park is super duper funny. If you guys have not seen South Park, you got to watch it. You know, not just for the Meghan and Harry stuff, but it's been around for 20 plus years and it's funny. But look at this on our kick. South Park drops approval ratings of Harry and Meghan. The influence of comedy is when a creator can, though through humor, sway public opinion. South Park still has that ability. The approval ratings for Prince Harry and his wife have plummeted since a recent episode of South Park that mocked the couple. It was the most notable episode of the franchise since the post-COVID special in 2021. I didn't see that. So Harry's approval rating in the U.S. has fallen three points since the episode down to minus 10. Longtime victim Meghan Markle now holds an approval rating of minus 17, <laughs> according to the New York Post. So she's more unpopular than Harry. They're both in the negatives. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? They did it to themselves. Yeah, 1000 percent agree. They did it to themselves. But hey, they got paid. I mean, if it's true, then, you know, but then it turned out it's not true. It's like a lot of people don't believe that story. Yeah, it's not reliable. It's not trustworthy. And it just seems like it's so. They just. Yeah, just like, you know, they do all this just to be a victim. Yeah. And. Meghan Markle seems so fake. Yeah, it's just fake, you know. I mean, they want privacy and then, like, they do all this stuff just to get famous. And, you know, where, you know, if they want to get famous, I mean, they don't have to do this stuff. You I know? mean, they were already famous, and she got famous mainly because of Prince Harry. Prince Harry had always been famous. Okay, you don't want to stay in a royal family? Fine. But... Why are you trying to make money off playing the victim? Prince Harry, no doubt about it, one of the most privileged people in the world. Mm -hmm. This man pretty much never had to work a day in his life. Now, I know he served in the military. I get that for his country. But everything handed to them. I'm just wondering, OK, I don't know what goes inside the royal family, so... I can't say anything, but... Um, well, I'll put it like this here before you get to that. They were work, working roles. They were given a home. They did not have to pay for anything. The taxpayers of England paid for that place. Well, I know, but what's going inside the family, I don't know. But they're, they're a royal family, so like they have like different treatment than like other normal citizens, yeah. you know. And... Um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, if they really love the royal family and want to get back, they would go to family counseling. Well, I mean, Meghan Markle doesn't right. love the royal family. Prince Harry, do I think he loves his father? Yeah, I think he loves his father. A lot of the beef really started with his brother because, according to reports, his brother really didn't want him uh, dating Meghan Markle. And he's probably was right about that, considering how things have actually turned out. 
Yeah. To where Harry is just not even a man. I mean, Meghan Markle is wearing the pants in that family. How embarrassing is that? You would think it's different because he's, you know, have a military background. It yeah. would be different, but. Yeah. You know. But you know what, though? To, to the people of uh, Great Britain, you guys should actually be very, very happy that Harry wasn't the older brother. Because he would be the heir apparent to the throne and Meghan Markle could be the queen consort and she would have all the influence on him. Yeah. It would be a disaster. I think I like Prince Willem and Princess Kate. Yeah. 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 And by the way, they're officially now um, off top a little bit. Um, Prince William and um, and uh, Kate, they're officially now the Prince and Princess of Wales. I thought that was already in the books because. I thought there were. No, I was just looking at it online before we started our recording. It just popped up. Mm-hmm. And officially now, they are the Prince and Princess of Wales. The monarch has to actually officially declare that. And now King Charles has actually done that. Like, I just found this out too. Um, Charles, mm-hmm. he unofficially became the Prince of Wales when he was like three. Mm-hmm. But he didn't get the title officially till like nine. So oh. the queen did. I just found out about that. So since we were just talking about royals, so yeah. just throwing it in right anyway, there. Anyway, um, another question is that, you know, one of the article said that uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they are not ready to, you know, give away the title, their title. They're not going to give it away. I mean, the title is the only thing they have for them going for them right now. Yeah. So I was wondering if they... You know, I mean, if they really don't want the fame and stuff, it wouldn't be, you know, important if they just give away the title and leave. They are not going to give it away. They're still calling themselves the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. So in a way, I mean, for me, it it seems like they don't want privacy. No, no. Don't want to be a regular people. They want to be famous. Yeah, yeah. Now, Prince so, Harry, he's a prince by birth, so he's stuck with that for the rest of his life. Yes. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, that title was given it to them by the Queen. And that is an official title. Actually, that's a higher title than um Prince of Princess. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's higher in the standings. But they don't work in the royal family. They don't. They still keep that title because they are grifting off of that title. Well, I'm sure if they just want privacy and be a regular person, I mean, a civilian, they wouldn't care to give away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, Prince Harry has never had to fill out a job application in his life. Meghan Markle either. She's never had to fill out a job application, as far as I know. <laughs> Compared to regular to citizens. To regular people. Yeah, I've had to fill out tons of job la- job applications. So I guess they really never get like rejected, rejected, rejected from no, jobs. No, no. When they left the royal family, they made a, a big statement about it. So we're going to move to Canada. Of course, Canada is not Hollywood. You can only do so much in uh, British Columbia. So they jump ship and they go to Hollywood where there's a ton of opportunities to make money. Now, me, myself, I would never want to live in the People's Republic of California, but she's from L.A. I mean, she fits right in. She's a woke leftist and Harry is being drug into it. Remember, she actually said that Harry was a feminist. She said that, not Harry. She is pushing him into this woke ideology. And that's why people don't like it. He should be a man. Be the alpha. And I'm a traditionalist. The man is supposed to be in charge of the family. Mm. Now, you, you wokesters that listen to this, I don't care. I am the leader of this family. You expect me to take the male role, right? Yeah. I mean, there's discussion. Yeah, yeah, there's discussion. But as as a man and a husband, I am the leader of the family to protect the family, right? Yes. Yes. It's not, not, I'm not saying that my wife do, definitely does have a lot of pull. Yes, I do. She definitely does. But in a traditional role... The man is the leader of the family, and he's not leading. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that guys can't treat their wife or woman or, you yeah, know. Yeah, he should be like respectful crap. to his wife. Yes. I'm respectful to you. 
of course, you know, we have differences, you know, just like everybody else. We're two different people. But I have respect for my wife. He, he should have respect for his wife. But man, be a man. Be a man. I mean, she's always in the front, up front. All these interviews, she's right up at the front. Harry's kind of on the side. It's like he's just been dragged along. But he 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 pretty much has a leash around his neck and she's dragging him along. And it has destroyed his image. Because when they got together, I didn't know who she was. I really didn't. She was doing these uh, royal engagements. Um, the queen, the queen pretty much took her under her wing for the most part. Showed her some things. Of course, she's American. And I understand she doesn't know all the the uh, traditional rules over there, you know, especially in the royal court. I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, you have to curtsy to everyone that's higher above you. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that. I was in the military, so I know something about, you know, tradition and rules and stuff, but not the same. You know? But I guess... She should find out what the royal family does before she sign up to marry Prince Harry. Well, I'm pretty sure that um, they had that discussion because when Harry wanted to marry um, Meghan, he couldn't just go out there and say, hey, I'm going to get married. He had to ask for permission from the queen. The all of the people inside the royal family that they get permission from the monarch to get married. I know, but she should know that when she married the royal family, yeah. it should be different because yeah. royal family they are different from yeah, it's, it's definitely different. Reckless civilian, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're right about that, but he wanted to be with her, and now he's destroyed himself. Eventually, the griff is going to run out. I believe you can only preach that you're a victim for so long. And then think, people are going to get tired of it. Sorry. Do you think that uh, Michael Marker, she wants, I mean, she was a regular citizen celebrity. Yeah, she was a minor celebrity. Yeah, and um, and when she wants, and when she married into the print, I mean, the royal family, does she want... The royal family to act like regular citizen or something like that? No, I mean, people, I mean, there's been rumors coming outside of the palace that she was treating the staff pretty bad over there. Because, you know, these Hollywood people, they feel entitled. And why is she treating bad? Because, like, I mean, they have service. Hollywood celebrities treat regular people like shit. They do. A lot of them do. I know, but. If she marry into the royal family, I'm sure they have servant. Yeah, yeah, to that, serve that them. staff. Yeah. So how come she's? I I don't know. Maybe to... maybe she's just a bad person. I mean the the staff. Some of them came out and said, "Hey, they didn't they didn't like working for her because she she was awful." I mean, she comes off as a terrible person. I mean, she, woke people are not very nice people. You well, know? I'm sure. <laughs> Someone, I mean, their service to cook for them, clean for them, you know. Yeah, they're like going to have people doing a lot for them. I mean. A lot. I'm pretty sure right now, you know, they have um, they have their own security, yeah. of course, you know, because um, he, he's a prince. So he definitely needs to have some um, security. So, but anything else to add to this before we wrap it up? No. Nah. Yep. I think that's going to wrap up the show, guys. We'll be back on Monday with another video for you guys. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.